Well, good morning, Interbed fans, and welcome to the preview for the Gravel Race meeting Sunday, the 24th of March. We have a nine-race program, and we kick off with race one, which is uh, made in juvenile plate, 1,200 metres. The going will be perfect, and there's 1.5 false rail, 1.5 metre false rail, which won't uh, affect much in this day's racing. So... Let's have a look at this uh, maiden juvenile plate 1200. Well, it's very hard to get uh, left runner. The Ghost, really, really good debut. And I think it will just about win this. Magical View does look like a danger. There's been no support for any of the first timers. So let's stick with uh, left runner. And I uh, hope he opens up the card. He might have a nice day today. Because race two, maiden juvenile plate fillies. 1,200 metres. Well, the find of the race is left other runner. I won't give up. Nine. Very nice uh, run, first run. And there have been two winners from four starters in that um, form line. So you really got to believe that that uh, form line uh, is standing up. And she's eight to one. Put her into all your exotics and uh, all your play in the race. But the two horses should fight it out. It's four grand occasion. Super first um, at any price. 33 to one. And then Ethereal View, all its form is good. And um, Godden gets a ride for the Miller outfit. Uh, he hasn't ridden this in his last three starts. He's obviously been riding the better of stable ones. So this is his chance to shine on this. But the draw, uh, seven, doesn't make it easy. Extraction, uh, close chance. And, you know, it's got close chance with number... Uh, uh, Number seven, ethereal view when you start looking at the collateral form and for he rides it. Race uh, three, maiden plate, fillies and mares, thousand meters. Well, uh, emerald green I've been following and I'm going to follow it strongly today. I think it's the right one. Head girl uh, showed pace and needed the run last time. Probably a big improver here. Sweet Julia, two good runs on the poly and uh, see how she goes on the turf. But she's obviously a player as well. Race four, maiden plate, 1,400 metres. Um, <clears throat> gorgeous dude is a big price, 7 to 1. I thought it's super last run. Um, a really, really good last run. And there's no reason why she shouldn't go well here. The money, money horse is Spelling Bee from the Cape uh, in the Canamara outfit. Um, it's got good Cape form. Look for it to improve. Should go well. Captain Masala. Front runner, probably end up going, making the pace. Third run after a race and the one they've all got to catch in the straight. Race uh, five, merit rated handicap, pretties and mares. They go 1,400 metres. Uh, a strong first choice is number eight, a Rafi's choice. I think this will win. I'm interested in the jockey booking. That's what really gets me. Sean Field gets the leg up on this one. Uh, why don't... Uh, Serena Moodley gets on to Jazz Cafe. He hasn't ridden her in the last two starts. Uh, and then uh, if you look at uh, Rafif's choice, um, you, you've got to believe that his form is better than a Jazz Cafe who just won a maiden, but maybe Jazz Cafe is a big improver. So that goes in. Devils of Dust got some form. And then Miss Gibson from draw 10, that's a problem. And Fort Chador from draw 9, also a problem. Race six, Pinnacle, 1,200 metres. Nice race. This looks like a lot of these are heading for the bigger things in the season. Sean Terry arrives with two runners on the day. Swing upon a star with uh, Lahiba claims a one and a half. And as you know, Sean Terry is a master of um, uh, merit ratings. And uh, that gives this one a very, very big chance in the race. Uh, the favourite is Gladiatorian. And so he should be his best in at the weights. And he's got very good form, course and distance. Everything suits him extremely well here. A lot to like about Gladiatorian. Sean Field gets a leg up. Uh, the two uh, Riverland runners, Captain Casey might need. And Coin Spinner got good form for he's ridden at three times for a win and a place. And it looks like a cherry ripe for a race like this. Eight runs, three wins, two places, course and distance. And the find of the race is number 10, Good Traveller. This horse has come down from 113 to a 98 merit rating. Only got 54 to carry and his form is patchy but can really improve. I think he's better at Scottsville, this horse, but he's really got some ability and this might be a good race for him. Race 7, King's Cup. 1600, uh, just starting to kick off with the winter season. And I think Celestial City will be impossible to beat here. If he travels this horse 
Uh, 53 and a half. He's extremely well weighted. And I said to you, Sean Terry, it's his game. Get him in the right races, off the right weight. And he looks well handicapped as uh, Celestial City. He's only had 11 runs, 5 wins and 5 places. He's done it really well. And he looks just, just like he's progressive. So what are the dangers? Well, if you look at the betting, then Narina Tragon got to have a chance of 53. But I don't know if uh, this is as good as uh, Celestial City, but certainly go well. And... Um, the Duma, number three, uh, the Gareth Van Zell runner, won well last time, beating the Nina Trigon. That might turn around in this race. Mexican Pete is the unknown. Uh, he's only got 53 and a half to carry. And the worst handicapped horse I've probably ever seen is Winter Games, 56 kilos. He's got a one-time winner, this horse. He's had seven runs, one-time winner, because he ran in the big features. And then... Uh, uh, ran in some pinnacles, he held his uh, place in the handicap, but he has run against the best. But wow, he's got to give two and a half kilos to Mexican Pete, who's got a, a better profile than him. Race eight, um, merit rated handicap, 1600 meters. Seven, Shotgun Willie is my find of the race. Uh, any price will go well. The two big runners here, one Manic Monday, uh, look for big improvement from this one. Or there or thereabouts and will go well over this uh, distance. I think the 1600 should suit it. It got beaten a short head or head with Lehiba on it uh, three runs ago. Iron Will. Wow, what check this horse's uh, rating. He was a 78. He went down to a 67. He then won his last two and gone to a 74. He gets Rachel claim one and a half. So he's um, effectively a 71. And he won off a 71 last time in a canter. So... He looks pretty well handicapped. He's only had 24 starts, 5 wins, 5 places. He's just come to himself. Very, very hard to beat. That's Carly, obviously, with Fury on a chance. Race 9, merit rated handicap, 2,000 metres. I'm going with number 4, Kanye Sandlela. Uh, Rachel Wright, just one for Alison Wright. Runs on his last couple, looks like he's absolutely ready. Big danger, 8 tin cup. Uh, ignore last, this is a front runner and they're going to have to hunt this one down in the straight. Galaxy Explorer hasn't run badly at last couple, gets free, that's a big pointer with Rivola's runner. And San Marzana might be a big danger to all of them here. So, from me, James Goodman and the Interbet team, have a great day's racing. And IPL, back up again in the wonderful cricket. Wow, it's great to watch it. Enjoy your Sunday.